I've been working on adding GDScript support to the Emacs editor. So you now have a package that's going to give you all the base features like folding, you have iMenu support, let me show you that, that allows you to jump to any function very easily. Just in case you don't know, Emacs is a free and open source editor that's from, you know, before Linux was started even. It's a very old beast and you can think of it as a text editor like Visual Studio Code or things like these, but it's really built around the hacker mindset, the idea that it's highly configurable and that it can really do a lot of things like you handle your calendar, your uh, project management, your email, if you want. In general, it's very powerful. I have made a series of tutorials for a distribution for it. It works a bit like Linux, if you want, where you have Space Max. That's a complete distribution for Emacs that brings lots of tools, packages, and configuration out of the box. Anyway, the GDScript mode is available on GitHub, link in the description below. You have the list of features, install guide, and also if you want to use GD format for automated formatting, you will have to install GD toolkit like so. So from the shell, pip3, install GD toolkit. Um, I have it installed already, so it's not going to add anything. And note that this requires Python 3. On Windows, you might be able to do pip install GD toolkit. If you only have Python 3 installed on Linux, type pip3 just to be sure. But anyway, so uh, you can do also auto formatting already. I'm going to unfold the code and go uh, make the font larger a little bit. Um, there you go. So I'll mess up the code a little bit there. I'm going to add too many lines. If I call format buffer, it's going to reformat it. Note that this follows the official style guide for uh, Godot GDScript that's in the official documentation, like ver latest version. And um, yeah, you can format code on save that way. Uh, you add a hook on save and you call GDScript format buffer. With that, uh, one last thing about GD format, because I think it's interesting as well, is you can also call it from the shell like that to format an entire project at once the first time you use it. Uh, be sure to just save like um, your before you, you run it to ensure that it formats the way you want. But with that, I invite you to check out the GDScript mode for Emacs. You have install instructions for manual install, installing for Space Max, Doom Emacs that I'm using here. So what you're seeing on screen is Doom Emacs. Note that um, I've submitted it for inclusion in um, Melpa, the package archive for Emacs. It's like the plugins repository if you want. So in the future you'll be able to use package install to install it, hopefully. Currently there is a package called GDScript. I thought there was one. Yeah, maybe I can't search for it right now because I have mine that's taking over. But um, that package is pretty small and hasn't been uh, developed, maintained actively. That is why I started developing a new one that is more complete. By the way, if you find any bug, be sure to go to the issues tab and to report a new one. You're also welcome to help us with development. If you know a bit of Emacs Lisp, if you find anything that you could improve, you have all the ellipses files in the package here. And with that, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun. Let's see one another in the next one. Bye-bye.